What's good everyone? It's Kashmir Elon. I hope my beautiful people are doing good because I am back and I'm better. I'm back and I'm better. And your girl is <laughs> going through life right now. Like I'm sure you guys are going through life, but I am really going through life. Um yeah, so this video is pretty much gonna be about a life update with me, what's been going on, how I've been feeling, am I getting back on YouTube, what is my YouTube channel going to be about, um, and yeah, I'm just going to kind of talk to you guys while I straighten this mane of mine. I already washed and conditioned and blow dried my hair, and I haven't straightened my hair since March when I had my baby. Um, so what is it, March, April, May? June, June. Now, I guess, you know, I was telling myself I'm gonna go a whole year without straightening my hair, but let me tell y'all, like, it's hard. It's hard. Like, I love natural hair. I love everything about it, but it's just, like, the maintenance, the time, like, I'm busy. I don't have time to sit there and do twist outs and, like, mm. And honestly, I don't even really do twist outs to my natural hair. I normally just do wash and goes. But since moving back to Atlanta, the weather and the humidity, like, just blows my hair. Like, it's just no point of doing a wash and go. My hair just dries out and it frizzes up. And then the shrinkage is very, very real. Looking at the length of my hair with it being blowed out, this is actually some growth. Just by looking at it now, um, last time I blew my hair out, it was about like this. Because I remember... Um, I normally like to keep my hair cut like off my shoulders so me being able to like have my hair hit my shoulder blow it out I know that I have some growth um, I have some crazy layers right now because you know when we're natural we clip our hair we see some straight pieces we be like mm, got to go got to go and uh, I'm gonna be using some bio silk uh, I normally put a little bit in my hair when my hair is wet and then I start blow drying it just so it feels a little bit like textured and not as just like dry and then I like to kind of like pull it through the rest I just been off camera I've been recording a lot like but I have not sat down and like edited my videos and been posting frequently. Um, I really wanted to sit down and think about what content I'm going to be creating moving forward um, because I have a lot going on in my mind, but when it's translated to you guys, it's not uh, fluent. So I have really been doing a lot of thinking and I just thought that I should do a life update video for you guys um, just to kind of let you know like what's been going on what you guys can expect from me moving forward and yeah while i talk and chat with y'all i'm going to be trying to tame this mess of a hair <laughs> last video i posted was of my sister's hair video and my first kind of like talent is actually doing hair um and my second is makeup but everything has literally been just like doing it for fun. It hasn't really been like thought of like, oh, I should do this as a career or, you know, I should get on YouTube and be like a beauty guru or something like that. Um, for many, many years, I've always watched YouTube. Like my attention span for television is very, very minimal. I just, TV just doesn't entertain me at all. YouTube is a very good source of learning, um, and it's just very entertaining for me. <laughs> um, I had a YouTube channel when I was 12 to 13, and I was doing singing covers, and um, I don't even know the name of the channel. It doesn't even exist anymore because, you know, YouTube has changed a lot, and yeah i feel like i need to get back in a mode of what i really want to do because i love beauty <laughs> i love all things beauty like my personality is very very like outgoing i love people and i just want to just be able to reach out to more people like um as you guys know a little bit of history about me i just moved back from um oakland san francisco california where i attended academy of art and you know then i was just 
so involved with art and just so involved with just being out and just being like aware of what's going on and ever since i had my baby i just feel like him moving to atlanta i just feel like i am um just just a little bit like uh how do i explain it like alone in a sense where no one understands like the hungriness that i have for doing projects like so in the meantime of me trying to do projects, I feel like it's best if I come on here and utilize YouTube um, and share with you guys like things that I do like every day, which is pretty much my makeup, my hair, and fashion because that's what I went to school for, which is uh, fashion merchandising. So hint, 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 if you guys are putting the pieces together, I'm gonna try to start making my YouTube revolve more around um, ooh, let me get the center because we do not want to be sitting up here like Pam on Martin with the bitty bees, okay? We don't want that. Job is hard to come by, but they got dark and lovely on damn near every corner you can. <laughs> okay? Now lube it down, bitty bee. Ain't no excuse. Lube it down. <laughs> Hell Hill Show. Bitty bee, get your saddle. We heading out west. Um, sorry, I had to get quiet. Like, I don't know if y'all remember, like, when you were younger sitting in the chair and your grandma like doing your hair with the hot comb and she take it off the stove and she blow that thing and she get like all in the back and you be like running from the goal <laughs> yeah and then just straighten it down and i like to go in with the comb just to make sure that it's the flat iron is going through all the way i want that full silky salon experience when i do my hair Disregard my makeup right now. I'm actually like, oop. Actually, I have some powder right here. I'm gonna like kind of set my face a little bit. I'm just sweating a little bit from the heat of earlier today. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of powder on my face just to like. <laughs> I said a little bit and then, you know, this happens. Just to like not look so oily on her like i'm sorry i should have did this earlier so um look like what's going on but y'all gonna see person that's just amazing at every single thing everyone has like their thing that they just own and they're just like super amazing at and like you know you should be proud of the things that you just know you're bomb at and for me i think I have a lot of things that I can share with you guys, a lot of good tips, um, and I'm an honest person, so when it comes to products and reviews, I think it will help you guys save your money um, and your time, like going through other YouTube channels, because obviously that's what I do. Like I just said, I watch other YouTubers um, before I make like some um, decisions on buying certain products. So yeah, I want to just share my little piece you know what I'm saying? Of the pie. Oh, I look 10 times better. My forehead is on like 10,000, but it's all good. So yeah, I just keep taking little bits and pieces of the edges just to knock it out. Knock it out the park. If you watch my story on Instagram, <laughs> I'm always cooking. Like me and my husband stay cooking. So I think I'm also gonna kind of throw some recipes um to you guys and especially if you guys have kids or you're thinking about having some kids some recipes that you can start learning to do from home instead of buying like what is it called instead of buying like pre-made like frozen food i guess um and saving you some coins like, I'm literally a whole wife out here. So, I gotta take care of my family. Feeding my man and feeding my baby. I'm breastfeeding and my son is now like five months and like sucking the life out of me. Yeah, so I've been working on a couple of photo shoots with Anari. And um, I have a really big project coming up that I'm gonna share with you guys soon. Um, but this is 
this is gonna be great it's gonna be super exciting like I'm excited I really like working as a team I'm not the type of person that likes to get all the attention when it comes to like my work as an artist um so for me I love to collaborate with people and kind of help them through the process of their business and their ideas and organizing things so that you know they get things out of what they're trying to produce basically so yeah um but my camera is gonna die so i'm going to get back on here when my hair is like completed to my channel subscribe if you're not already subscribed and you guys are gonna be proud of me you're gonna be proud you're gonna be proud i promise you're gonna be proud but for now i love you guys i'll check back when when my hair is complete but as you can tell now look silky So I finally finished my hair and <laughs> I finished my hair and my video camera battery died so anyway today out of all days it rained so my hair front frizzed up from the humidity in the air so now I have to go back and kind of straighten out some of the frizzy pieces like this piece here um, and I figured out what style I want to do kind of bend just like this and yeah I just wanted to come back on here and complete the look with you guys because I like scurried away <laughs> from the last look so let's get into it I'm going to just part my hair in this in the middle and kind of start in the back and I'm going to take a big butterfly I know I look like one of the thing one and thing two frizz. Yeah, so my hair is already like straightened so I'm not gonna like overdo it, but I am gonna hit the pieces that I know needs to be like redone. Um, so, sure. I also trimmed my hair because my hair needed it bad like <laughs> bad so I it was about here but like I said my ends were like horrible so I needed to trim it I wonder does that happen to any of you guys like as soon as you like get your hair done like the weather just decides to just like Right on your parade. It's just like, girl, you know, I'm trying to like shake my hair and show everybody that my hair's all silky and done. And then the rain comes and it's just like, <laughs> but girl, your hair frizzy, so like, sit down. So it was such a total waste. I was planning on going to a job interview and <laughs> I just don't understand people, bro. So the company website has an address and inside the email from the HR representative I was sent an address to go to for my interview I go to the address I literally get in the area an hour beforehand so you know I'm taking my time drinking my coffee eating my little pastry minding my little business I look outside it's pouring down rain and even more and I'm like <laughs> great and it becomes like 15 minutes till. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna walk across the street and just go over there now. Um, and then go to the bathroom, freshen up my lipstick, and then go ahead and go. So I literally start heading towards the address and then <laughs> I'm standing in the middle of a parking lot and I'm just like, so, you know, what's the deal? So I call um, the HR representative and she tells me that, oh, you know, it's always a little bit of a mix up, like, you know, it's kind of hard to find. And I'm like, okay, wait, <laughs> so where are you guys located? And then she goes on to tell me like, oh no, it's, it's literally blah, blah, blah. And so she tells me, and I'm like, okay, she's kind of saying it like, 
it's around the corner or like it's in the area that I'm in. It gives me like a roundabout answer like it's around this area. And so I go to check. Okay, so now I'm splitting the hair a little bit of a thicker section. And then I'm gonna just clip this again. So I go on my maps and I look at the area that she's telling me. Mind you, she didn't give me an exact address. She says we're located by this hotel. And so I'm just like, okay, first of all, how are you a company and you can't provide the legit address from the beginning? So that kind of had me like, yeah, I'm not really feeling this. This is so unprofessional. Um, I was like, okay, at this point I'm 15 minutes into my interview and the location is a completely different location as a 15 minute drive or 35 minutes more by transit. So at this point it's like I'm forced to take a lift to get there but I still wouldn't even get there on time because first of all it's raining and second of all I'm still like contemplating if I'm even gonna go or not. So at this point, I'm just like, you know what, forget it. And this is the first time that I've ever had to like forfeit an interview, but it was so like weird. Like I don't understand how something as simple as an address was not like told to me up front. So as you can see y'all, like hair got body. And this is the secret. It doesn't matter what like your curly hair type is, you can get your hair to be silked out. The secret is, is to always have clean hair. And I know that literally seems like, uh, duh, like if I'm gonna press my hair, I'm gonna wash my hair. Okay, but make sure that when you wash your hair, you really clean your scalp, you really clean your hair throughout. Um, you make sure you deep condition your hair to prepare your hair for the heat. Um, I deep conditioned my hair for overnight. So I wore my cap, went to sleep in it, and I kind of went almost two days if you think about it because I went the whole day with it kind of plaited in the condition conditioner. And then um, by the end of the next day, I like rinsed my hair out and then I... Um, conditioned it again, rinsed it out instantly, and then I added some syrup to my hair and then blow dried it. But all in all in all, make sure that you have very clean hair. Like fill your scalp throughout, make sure that there's no leftover oils, uh, because since you know us scales are natural, we load our hair up with product. So you wanna make sure that your hair is super squeaky clean. Like I shampooed my hair, about three times yeah and when i shampooed my hair i also let the shampoo sit in my hair and i combed my hair i know you're really not supposed to do that but um when i went and got my hair done in the salon like i noticed in the shampoo bowl they would like comb my hair out while i'm in the shampoo bowl so i don't know i get like mixed reviews on that but i just did it anyway because to me i think it makes sense you like pull the shampoo through the hair anyway so yeah make sure you shampoo your hair super super good uh, rinse it out deep condition and then um, don't when you blow dry your hair this is like a tip that I normally give like put the um, heat protectant in your hair while it's wet and then blow dry your hair. So that's like the first step to protecting your hair. Um, that's what I do and I don't use a lot. Please understand your hair is going to create its own oils. So it's no need to start the process of putting so much serums and a heat protectant and oils because when it's time to get ready to press the hair, it's like weighed down. That won't give it body. That's not gonna give it that natural luster you want it to be very light. Because over time, your hair, you're gonna start adding more serum anyway, and then your hair is gonna start having its own oil. So try to be very light with your product use when you're about to um, silk your hair. 
go in very small sections. I know it's gonna take a while, and for someone like me, I have very thick hair. I may not have the longest hair, but I have very coarse hair. So for me, I have to go in teeny, teeny sections, and um, on average, it would take me about an hour. Like this, seriously guys, like, listen to me. It would take me about an hour to press my hair. Um, but now I have a son, so it took me about two days to do my hair. <sighs> anyway, yes, this is literally what you want. This is what you want. And the setting on my flat iron is 400. So, um, I haven't had any issues with my hair reverting back to curly. Um, see what I'm saying? I took that thick section. It looks like I'm halfway done, right? But I have all of this hair left to do. Thick hair, y'all. Thick hair. Thick hair girls. Thick hair girls. So now I'm going to take a thicker section hairstyle. Um, if you wrap your hair at night, every night consistently, which I'm like not really good at doing, um, if you do it every night, this will last you in the same shape and form a good two and a half weeks. And it will literally look like you left the salon every single day when you unwrap it. Um, yeah, the first night that I did this, I straightened it, but I didn't put any curls in it. So my hair really didn't have any shape. It was just like straight and flat against my head. Um, I normally like to add curls to my hair so that way I have a lot more body but of course I have a five month old son that requires all my time so don't get to do all that day I'm gonna do that and the curls doesn't take as long as the straightening process um, you can take really big chunks and then style it how you want to where you see fit um, everyone has a different face structure so you want to shape your face for you know what's good for you I like to bring most of my hair to the front of my face so I curl forward um, yeah but you guys will see that when we get to that point but yes yeah, small sections and when you are running the flat iron through the hair be quick because remember the flat iron is literally 400 degrees you don't want to be sitting there with the flat iron just like on your hair for like you know what i'm saying 25 seconds you just need to swipe it swipe it swipe it and be done like you don't need to hold it there too long as my husband would say frying my hair but to me i don't think it's really frying i'm just you know flattening out the kinks um, but I just love, love, love how silky my hair gets. Um, also another tip is don't be afraid to get the root. Those kids where when you used to get your hair straightened with the hot comb, you'd be running away from the, from the hot comb. You know, your grandma about to hit the roots and then you're like... <sighs> I understand, I understand, but trust me, it's gonna make your hair look so much more seamless and flat if you really start good at the roots. Um, do that. So, yeah, I'm just gonna continue this process. this is I didn't have to pay none 
I didn't have to pay a dime, girl, to get my hair done. And it feels good, you know? Like, I feel like every once in a while, you should press your hair out. You should have that time to just not have to worry about deep conditioning your hair, twisting your hair down. I mean, like, my husband loves my hair naturally. And I totally get it. I just want to know, is he going to be the one that's going to be getting down when it's time to deep condition? Flexi rod. These are the questions that I need answers to. Are you ready? Are you ready? Like, it's a lot of hair. Like, I'm trying to tell you. Once you silk it out, it makes it look like, oh, it's not a lot of hair. Well, this is, this is easy to manage. That's what it's meant to look like. It's meant to flow. You know how many combs I've broken back in the day? Y'all know. Y'all know, y'all know. This is the reason why I didn't want to do a middle part because the front of my hair is not completely even. Um, but that's okay. I think once I finesse it, it's gonna it's gonna blend in pretty well. Just a couple of bends. Just a couple. It was basically like one, two, three four five six seven that's literally it um if you want a little bit more um you can always like go in and bend these pieces but i want to keep the length lay and then i'm gonna wrap it and be out so this is the look i hope you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hopefully my tips worked for you guys please 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 use them it's been working for me for many many years and yes use them don't forget to click the notification bell so that you guys can be notified when i post a new video but thank you that's all for now if you guys are interested in any of my other videos you know where to go go to my channel check your girl out support join the cashmere elon family and Love you beautiful people. Peace out.